Hey, I'm Bron Lee. And I'm Aaron Williams. Together we are Collision, Collision of, of Rhythm. Rhythm. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about communication. And listening. And a little give and take and push and pull. So what about it? Where should we start? I guess a good question is, why talk about listening? Because it's something that's pretty obvious that we all have to do just to survive in this world. Yeah. I think listening is one of the most critical parts of survival. Right. We're listening before we cross the road for cars. Mm -hmm. You know, we're listening to our surroundings right on survival level. And then also in, you know, creative collaborations, you know, uh, extraordinary collaborations. When we're listening and hearing other people, that affects what we're going to say in return. Exactly. If I come to the situation and I have a story that I want to share, I have a point that I want to make. Uh, if I'm if I'm listening and I'm engaged and really hearing what the other person's saying, then that's going to affect maybe. Uh, the metaphor that I speak in uh, or the story that I'm going to share, you know, and I may be able to, to shift that slightly so that it's going to land inside of the listener uh, a bit more deeply. Yeah. And maybe um, as an example of how we use this particular aspect of extraordinary collaboration, I think specifically of a moment in our show when Bron Carr has just finished playing djembe and I'm about to come out on stage and do some tap dancing mm -hmm. and we do djembe and tap dancing together. And um, the way that I tap dance with Bron Carr is differently than the way that I tap dance maybe with a different group or in front of another musician or with certain musicians. And that's because when I listen to Bron Carr play djembe, I'm really thinking about his, not just what he's playing at that moment, but his full story. Um, I think there's lots of times in our show where Bron Carr has talked about his experience learning djembe right before I come on stage. And I'm in that mode because I've been listening to his story. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it changes the style that I tap dance in, like mm -hmm. where my body weight is shifted, mm -hmm. how high or low it is, mm -hmm. the types of grooves that we can sit into and the way we sync up. Yeah, it's a, re it's a real conversation. And there's a lot of call and response where we're literally, yeah. you know, repeating each other's patterns or interpreting those patterns. Like you'll make an offer and in the moment I'm responding to that in my own way, mm -hmm. you know, so I've really got to listen to it. If I'm not listening to you and then my pattern isn't going to sync up, it's not, it's going to sound like I'm having a different conversation. Yeah. Yeah. On the, on the, on a musical level. Yeah. Yeah. In a way that this can apply. Um, I think about this a lot inside of, um, outside of musical contexts. I'm sure a lot of you have been in a situation to where you're in a meeting. This happens to me all the time and you're talking to someone. And as soon as you finish what you said, and they start to speak. It's, it almost seems like they didn't listen to anything you said. Yeah. <laughs> like they had something that they wanted to yeah. say that they were waiting to say. Yeah. And as soon as you're done, now they're saying what they've yeah. been thinking about for the last they five were, minutes. They were just waiting for you to stop. Yeah. This type of listening has become something I do more naturally now. I go into almost every situation listening in this way, including these meetings where other people don't listen in this way. And it's so weird because I expect yeah. them to listen that way. And when they speak to me, I'm listening that way. Well, so it changes the conversation. Yeah, because it's a skill that you've cultivated, right? Yeah. And you've actually encoded it, just like driving a car or whatever, and you've encoded it. So then you're able to you're able to put it on autopilot in a sense, right? Mm -hmm. That skill, you're not able to focus, I am listening intently. Right. You're just listening intently, Yeah. you know? Yeah, it also allows me to um, kind of help, help them. Mm -hmm. If it is someone that doesn't listen, isn't used to listening in that way, I can say, reiterate, if there's a certain point that I really want them to address. Because I noticed that maybe they weren't focused on what I was saying at that particular moment, mm -hmm. or maybe this is something I really want them to listen to. Mm -hmm. And if you're aware of those things, it changes the way you interact with other people mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. with your team or with your staff or whatever it is in your particular situation. Mm -hmm. So how are you gonna include intentional listening into your repertoire, into your skill set, into your tool belt, so that you're actively, consciously listening and hearing the people that you're collaborating with to take those ordinary collaborations and make them extraordinary. 